Hey, my name is Meg, welcome back to my channel and today's video is a little different so if you're joining me uh, for the premiere of this video, hi, hello, how are you all? If you're not joining this from the premiere, just to catch you up to speed, this video is part of a sort of journal hop that's been organised by Joey Duffy. I hope I'm saying that right. And I'll leave links to all the channels down below that are participating in this journal hop. So there's Joey Duffy, The Jersey Crafter, Natalie Bowers, myself, Kylie Koo Studio, Meta Mandala Arts and Booksmith, Maria's Miscellany, Emma's Creative Corner and The Little Paper Tree. And as I said, you'll be able to find everyone's links down below. They're all really lovely ladies and you'll be able to see what they create. For my contribution, I thought I'd do a good old junk journal with me and um, this is the spread that I've picked and I've got with me a few bits and pieces to use. I'm going to try and do a spread with not that many supplies just to show you that you don't need a lot to do junk journaling. So this is just from a notebook, I just ripped it out. This is brown paper that was just some packaging. I can't remember what I ordered, but every time you seem to order something from Amazon, you get loads of packaging. So that's from that. And I have a photograph. So at the minute, we're having a bit of a heat wave here in the UK. Really, really warm. So I just took a picture outside the window just to sort of capture the heat that we're having because you don't get it very often here in uh, England. And then to go with that theme, a postcard that a friend sent me it says, hello sunshine. So I thought that was sort of went with the sunshine theme. A brush pen, a couple of washi tapes. When is the last time, truthfully, that you finished a washi tape? I must have finished about three. <laughs> I really don't finish them that often. So swapping them with your friends it's a great idea. I have some tabs, I might use a tab. I was thinking on the postcard. And then I have some old stamps that a friend gave me. You can get these on eBay, in antique stores, maybe even in charity shops. Um, and then just any, any scraps you've got lying around, really. Not that many supplies at all, really. So that's literally everything that I'm going to use. So normally what I would do is work out what I want to go wear on the page. So with this being a really pretty pattern from an old book, I don't think I really want to cover a lot of that. And then I really like the way that this creates a border. So what I might do is use this paper to just sort of break it up a little bit. Might have to tear it down there. There we go, just to create a bit of interest, then I'll just glue it down. And then I'm thinking this brown paper might work well just to break up because we've got quite a lot of cream going on here. So I think maybe we might pop it because I think I might want to, um, oh, there we go. I might work with the lines that we've already got on the page. Because I'm thinking I might want to do my brush lettering on this brown paper. So let's just rip that. So, yeah, so generally I will go with just sort of like base collage, I guess you could call it, like sticking down bigger elements got a little bit of a sense of how the page is gonna like be laid out. I'll come in with my other elements and see where I can fit them. So I'm kind of sad that that's not gonna fit there. I might trim it down just to fit. Uh, yeah, that's way better. So I think I might pop it down the bottom here, or maybe. I'm gonna put it here and not at the bottom just to sort of link these two bits of collage together. That way it looks like a cohesive spread. So top tip if you're wanting to make your collage not look so bitty on a page is to use an element to link them together. You could use this as a tip-in, so you could affix it with washi and then 
have it flipping out but I just fancy having it glued down today. So then once I've sort of got my main element down I'm going to work around that and see where I can put my photo. So I might pop it, see it's too tall there. So I could either chop this down because there's not really anything at the bottom so I think I might do that. I might chop it to about here. Maybe I do. Actually, I just don't want to cover up the writing, that's that's all. Oh yes, I'll pop it up here and I'll tuck it behind the writing. There we go. I'm thinking this might make a nice addition just as a extra journal spot that's a bit different. Um, I like to add different pieces of paper to sort of break up my journaling, so if I don't want to do one whole spread, then I can just journal, say, in this bit, and then I can come back another day and journal in this bit. Um, and I think I'm just going to have to cover the writing, but that's okay. Now, um, I'm probably going to come in with my uh, brush pen and put um, some sort of title here. Maybe I'll just write summer. There we go. And then if you want to make it look fancy, you can add some, some uh, what should we call them? Some swooshes. You can add some swooshes to your lettering. Make it pop. And then we're going to add some washi tape, my favourite part. And I like to do this between elements, so as you can tell the lines are quite harsh at the minute and I know that washi tape is quite straight, but something I like to do is I'll take it and I will tear it down the middle, so then you get obviously a uneven, uneven edge and then I will just attach it like so and it just sort of joins the elements together and breaks up the page a bit um, and then I like to do sort of a couple of washi tapes uh, not just one just to go in with the collaging effect there we go there's the end I couldn't find the end then <laughs> oh no that's not the end where's the end oh no I can't find the end there we go found the end that didn't take long it did it did <laughs> so and then I will probably rip this one up as well um, and then see sometimes you get thin pieces sometimes you get thicker pieces look you would like so I'll just pop it like that pop in the straight edge of the washi against the image and then there we go uh, Maybe I'll pop one down the side just to give it a sort of collagey, collagey look. Um, maybe we'll add one more. Um, it's also fun to add little bits as well, just to sort of give like pops of colour because obviously pink isn't like a big colour on this page, but we'll just add a little bit of it just for interest. Sometimes what I like to do is add scrap bits of paper that have been lying around on my desk. So for example, I'm just going to pop this little scrap of brown paper here. Last thing that I'm going to do is probably add a tab maybe, if it fits. Maybe I'll put the tab there. Should we yeah, I might add a little craft tab there and I will stamp the date. I just grabbed my ink pad and my stamp and I'm just going to pop the date onto this little tab here and staple it to the page. Making sure, of course, that I don't staple any pages together because I always do that. There we go. Pick one that matches with the colours. Let's see. Which one do I like the look of? Like so. There we go. And then all that's left to do 
is adding my journaling here. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing this page come together and be sure to check out all the other ladies that I've left in the description below as part of this journal hop. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more junk journal videos from me. Next month, July, I'm doing junk journal July. I'm hosting that with Joey and Patricia I'm over on Instagram so if you'd like to get involved with that the hashtag is Junk Journal July and all the prompts are over on my Instagram so I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!